Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. So, last time we looked at the first story job. Today, we're going to look at the second one. So, this Griffin Tyro, that's what we're going to have a look at. Let's bring it in. All right, so here it is a nice little green sports car mini kind of thing. So, let's take this inside and have a quick look at what we need to repair today. And quite a lot is the answer by the looks of it. So, belt tensioner, brake pads, cam gear, cam shaft. So that means we're going to have to get into the engine block. We've got the oil filter, of course. Rubber bushings. We've got more here. Oh, and four parts not discovered. So, okay, we've got a, a little note from the owner here. Um, they want me to do the fluids and all of that. There's tapping in the camshaft. All right, please take care of my car. Drain the oil, brake fluid, coolant fluid, steering fluid, wind washer fluid. Well, fluid, that's where we'll begin. Let's get this baby raised up. There we go. All the way up for the oil. Let's get that drained first. So just like we started with the last car, really. So there we go, the oil just oozes out of the bottom. We can pop that back in its spot now. Nicely does it. Did I need to change an oil filter? Yes, I did. So let's grab that while we're here. So over to the computer we go. We want the oil filter 14. There it is. Let's buy that one. Back to the car to stick it on so we can do the oil change straight away. Great, let's remember part mounting this time so you know we don't accidentally dismantle the car. So there we go. Brand new shiny oil filter all done. Right, car back down on to the fluid. So let's get that oil done first. I don't know if you were really a car mechanic. Would you do all the fluids last, or would you do them first? If you are a car mechanic and you're watching, do let me know down in the comments. That's the oil done. All right, yep, done. There we go. And now, it was pretty much every other fluid, wasn't it? So let me just double check, make sure we don't get anything wrong. So we've done that one. Brake, coolant, power steering, and refill on the windshield washer. So with all of these ones, we want to drain first, so let's Get our snazzy little drain tool out, pull all that green gloop out, and then unscrew the caps and get the refills done. Okay, green slime replaced with green slime onto the windshield as well. Nice and easy does it. There we go. All the way up to the line. Good stuff. Right, power steering next. This was a drain and refill. So let's get all of that out. Didn't even know power steering fluid was a thing before I started playing this game. Shows how much I know about cars. I would just myself do an oil change and fill up the windscreen washer. And that's it. Leave the rest to the experts. All right, let's get that red gauge filled up. There we go. We don't want to be told that we have to do it again. And there we go. The brake fluid is hiding around the back. Drain tool once more. And now, time to refill that one as well. Oh, and they've changed me back to this camera angle so I can't see when it's filling up. Well, we'll just go with whenever the bottle tilts itself back down. There we go. That'll do. Okay, so that's all our fluids at this point. Done. Done. 
and we've got the oil filter done. Now it's just everything else and to find out what those mystery parts are as well. So let's start with the cam stuff. That's going to be the heavy lifting rubber bushing. I don't know. Oof. Those might be tricky to find. We'll be after spark plugs and serpentine belts and all that kind of stuff as well. So let's take the top off this engine and get started. Okay, start with ignition coils. We needed to fix those. So one of these at least is probably a bit knackered. That's the one. Get the cover off. Uh, I remember this from previous versions of the game. When you're dealing with the engine block, there's a lot of screwing going on. We're going to have to put all these back as well. Now, these things can be a bit complicated. So there's our camshaft, but we've got to remove the caps first. Okay, this looks like it could take a while. So let's use the magic of editing to uh, fast forward on this one. Okay, so that's all the camshaft clips off. Now we we'll come over here, we've got to go through the whole crankshaft system. So we'll start with an idler roller. I think that was on our list, so we probably wanted to be pulling this off anyway. Serpentine belt, that was, I think that was on our list, something like that. Anyway, we'll double check the quality of the parts once we've removed them all. Need to get this alternator off as well. I think it's quite possible that we didn't actually need to take it off at all. Anyway, we'll get this cover off as well. See what lies underneath. Some juicy little bits for us. There we go. That cam gear definitely needs to come off. Does not look in good condition at all. Neither does the belt tensioner. That's one thing, uh, a little clue they give you here in Car Mechanic Simulator. When something looks rusty, then it needs to be fixed. So that will include the idler roller. And the cam gear, let's get that off. There you go, unscrewed, removed. And it's gonna take a lot of work to get this back to <laughs> together. I think we're going to have to go around the other side for that one. We've got another idler roller here. I know we had to replace one of those, so let's take it off and have a look. Looks to be in decent condition, though. Round to the other side. All right, timing cover to remove here. Plenty of screws. Get out. Okay, so we've got to remove the gears on this side of the camshaft as well. Get the timing chain off. Now I know here you can see already that one of those camshafts is not in good condition at all. Uh, the other one seems in decent condition, but I think we're going to have to pull them both off because, yeah, we were after these spark plugs. So let's get them out. A couple of those needed replacing, as I recall from the order list. There we go, that's one of them. Yeah, and that's the other one. So we've got some replacement parts to be buying here. Okay, so we've pulled off everything from the top of that list except for the brake pads. We've got to find these rubber bushings as well. And then these undiscovered parts. We need to get those out. Okay, so time for the tyres to come off. Check out those brake pads, see which ones need replacing. Off comes the caliper as well, and yeah, that brake pad does look to be in pretty poor condition. So this brake disc doesn't look the best either. That, yeah, 27%. That's definitely one of those mystery parts that we had to check out as well. Round to the other side then, and the other tyre. We can already see here the brake disc doesn't look in very good condition either. So... I don't know what this person's been doing, how hard they've been using their brakes, but yeah, I think they I think they need to adjust their driving style somewhat. Okay, so let's get those off. Brake pads off as well. Brake disc ventilated. Terrible condition that one. Right, said so four sets of brake pads, so we've got to go for the rear wheels as well. 
get all these off. Okay, this time, the brake disc is looking in good condition. So that's good to see. That brake pad is definitely not in good condition, though. Oh, is that a rubber bushing? We'll have that. We needed those, didn't we? Okay, so that comes off, yeah, 11%. So whatever a rubber bushing is, we're going to replace it. All right, final tyre to come off then. There we go. Nicely does it. Just press and hold the mouse. Drag it over all of those screws. Another rubber bushing to pull out. Good stuff. Save ourselves an extra job later on. So I'll check the front suspension for the other ones as well. And then sort out these brake pads. Caliper looks in good condition. So how did the brake pad get in such shocking condition, I wonder? Okay, here are our rubber bushings this time. We can see them now on the front suspension. Just zoom in on that one. Let's get that one off as well. Nicely does it. Now let's check in on our list. Is there anything that I haven't got a hold of yet? So we found out a couple of the spark plugs were the extra parts along with... Now I think now that we've, we've identified those extra parts it's just added them to the list. So okay, we're going to set up our shopping list. Buy and replace. Okay, so over to the computer to do our shopping. So quite the list to go through today. Start with the rubber bushings. There we go. That's nice and easy. Four of those, please, sir. And four of your finest brake pads as well. A brace of ventilated brake discs. Uh, one camshaft. Ooh, 250 credits. Pretty pricey, those. Cam gear. This cam part is going to cost... Cost them dearly, it would seem. Idler rollers. Good. Did we need one or two? I'll buy two just in case. Save me coming back later. Okay, serpentine belt as well. Just the one of those. Then we want a belt tensioner. There we go. Good stuff. And I'm going to have to try another vendor for the spark plugs. Electronics. Make, sounds obvious. So uh, let's just get that off the list. Spark plugs. Ah, nice and cheap. Two of those. Lovely stuff. Let's get this car put back together. Okay, I'm starting with the spark plugs. I've made this mistake before in previous versions of this game, where I've put everything else in and then forgotten the spark plugs and I've had to deconstruct the entire engine to put them back in. Good, we got our spark plugs back in place. Now for a brand new camshaft there. And the other one was in decent nick, so we'll put that back in. No problems. Get those camshaft caps in as well. I've got to repeat this eight times over, so again, I'll use a quick uh, crossfade or fade to black or something like that to save you having to watch each and every one. Okay, so that's all done. Now we're going to get the cam gear back on. Quite a lot to do here. We've got good the timing chain. Then there was something going here. Another cam gear. Good. These were not the parts we needed to replace, but there was just so much stuff to remove just just so we could remove those camshafts and spark plugs. Anyway, that's all done. Lovely stuff. Now we're just going to scoop around the other side. Good. There we go. Whoops. And let's get this back in place. So this was where the car was a bit worse for wear. Get that cam gear in, get our rollers in, keep rolling, as they would say. I'm not actually sure that I needed to take this alternator off, but anyway, we've put it back now, so that should be fine. Let's get another idler roller in. We'll give them a brand new one just because we're being kind. Our serpentine belt goes on as well. That's nice and new. Belt tensioner, also brand spanking new. Screw that in place. Get the cover on. Lovely stuff. Let's 
get those screws in, get the bolts in rather, and then we can do the top part and hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything, because if I have, <laughs> I've got quite a bit of disassembly to do to sort it out. Anyway, let's uh, get these belts back on as well. Good. Oh, another idler roller to go in. There you go. Nicely does it. Now for the engine head cover and those ignition coils, we need to get those sorted out as well. There we go. For, oh, whoops. I think I forgot to buy one of these. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just pop those three back in, head back over to the machine and get a new one. Okay, so there we go. Missing ignition coil purchased. It's a good thing my guys deliver instantly. Anyway, let's make sure we're mounting. There we go. Ignition coil, brand spanking new and in place. Okay, get my bushings back in now as well. Go we'll swing around this way so we can get the other one in. Lovely stuff. And now we want to get the uh, wheels and the brake pads back on, I think. So, make sure we're mounting. Good stuff. Brake disc ventilated. On you go. Nice and new. Brake pads, also nice and new. Caliper on top. Yeah, that's not new, but give it a few months and <laughs> this person will have wrecked their brakes again. And finally the tyres, there we go. Alright, let's just get the other four tyres done as quick as we can. And then I think, I think that's going to be it. Seems to have been a lot more straightforward than I expected. I don't know. Maybe there's something I've missed. <laughs> We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's get these brakes and wheels on. Oops, almost forgot the bushings here. Good thing that I can uh, I can still access that part without having to remove the tire again. Anyway, on to the other side of the car. Two more tires to go. Start with the bushing this time. That seems to be an easy one to forget. And onto the wheel itself. So there we go. Bushing, brake pad, and wheel back in place on this one. One more to go. Okay, so we've got our brake disc going on here. Good stuff. Brand new pads. Ah, this person will only have to brush their shoe against the brake pad and they're going to come to a screeching halt now that we've got this death trap fixed. Anyway, there we go. Final tyre. Lovely stuff. So there you go, we're done. Like I said, when I first saw the list, I thought, this is going to take forever. Right, plenty of things in the inventory to get rid of. Plenty of bits of junk. I'll hold on to that oil filter and idler roller, because, you know, we, we might slip them into somebody else's car. We've got our case to open as well. Let's see what we get this time. Maybe another map. Or oh, which card should we choose? Second one. <laughs> We got the bonus case again and we got some XP. Fantastic. Next case. Let's see what happens this time. Uh, we get another case. Of course we do. And another map. Fantastic. One last case. Hopefully this is the last one. Uh, let's see. Bonus XP and those coggy thingies. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look at our map. Add that. Maybe we'll check those out in a future video so now if i check my calls uh, i'm ready for the next story order but we are going to leave that 
for the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You've hit the like button. You've got the bell on for notifications. Do let me know what you think of Car Mechanic Simulator so far. And yeah, I'll see you for this Valsen 2040 next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you again soon.